Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 The International Monetary Fund IMF had recently released the January update of its world economic outlook. Consider the following statements about this. 1 It was expecting some rise in the Indian economy next fiscal year and projected the growth to be at 6.8% from 6.1% during the current fiscal ending 31st March. To the global growth is projected to fall from an estimated 3.4% in 2020 to 2.9% in 2023, then rise to 3.1% in 2024. Three growth in emerging and developing Asia is expected to rise in 2023 and 2024 to 5.3% and 5.2% respectively. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. One only. B. One and three only. C. One, two and three. D. Two and three only. Answer is D. It was expecting some slowdown in the Indian economy next fiscal year and projected the growth to be at 6.1% from 6.8% during the current fiscal ending 31st March. Question 2 in budget 2023 to 1924 customs duty was waived for machinery required to manufacture lithium ion cells for batteries. Consider the following statements about lithium ion cells. One lithium ion cells are widely used for cellular phones and note type personal computers PCs because of their high voltage and high energy density. Two it is a type of rechargeable battery which uses the reversible reduction of lithium ions to store energy. Three lithium ion batteries can be a safety hazard if not properly engineered and manufactured since cells have flammable electrolytes and if damaged or incorrectly charged can lead to explosions and fires which of the following given above is are correct a 1 and 2 only b 3 only c 1 2 and 3 d 2 and 3 only answer is c Question 3 with reference to World Leprosy Day consider the following statements One leprosy is a chronic infectious disease that may lead to severe disfiguring skin sores and nerve damage in the arms legs and skin areas around body To leprosy also known Hansen's disease is a chronic infection that's caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium leprae Three in India The day is marked on 31st January to coincide with the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi who is known for his fight against the disease. Which of the following given above is are correct? A 1 and 2 only. B 1 and 3 only. C 1 2 and 3. D 2 only. Answer is A. In India The day is marked on 30th January to coincide with the death anniversary of Mahatma Gandhi who is known for his fight against the disease. Globally, the last Sunday of January is observed as World Leprosy Day (WLD). The World Health Organization (WHO) has announced act now. End leprosy as its theme for this year's World Leprosy Day. Question for the Nodal Center for Biological Invasions (NCBI) at the Kerala Forest Research Institute (KFRI) has come out with a management plan to eradicate Sena spectabilis. Consider the following statements about Sena spectabilis. One the exotic invasive plant that is posing a severe threat to the state's wildlife habitat. So they are often grown as an ornamental in front yards, parks, gardens, buildings, etc. due to their bright yellow flowers that bloom during the winter months. Three currently, S. spectabilis is overtaking native tree species of forestry ecosystems around the world because of its ability to grow quickly. Which of the following given above is are correct? 
A to only B 1 and 3 only C 1 2 and 3 D 2 and 3 only Answer is B They are also known as golden wonder tree American cassia or cone tree cassia excelsa golden shower tree or archibald's cassia They are often grown as an ornamental in front yards parks gardens buildings etc due to their bright yellow flowers that bloom during the summer months Question 5 with reference to shumang leela consider the following statements One shumang leela is a traditional form of theater in Tripura Two in this the roles of women are all played by men called nupi shabis Three it is performed in an open courtyard surrounded by spectators on all four sides Which of the following given above is are correct A 1 and 2 only B 1 only C 1 2 and 3 D 2 and 3 only Answer is D Shumang Leela is a traditional form of theater in Manipur In the case of women's theater groups the roles of men are played by women Shumang Leela translates to courtyard performance Today Shumang Leela is of two types Nupa Shumang Leela performed only by men and Nupi Shumang Leela performed only by women Question 6 consider the following statements about red sanders also called red sandalwood One it is a species found in the southern tropical dry deciduous forest of Telangana to the tree reaches an average height of 10 to 15 meters Three the species is listed as endangered in the International Union for Conservation of Nature and falls in appendix 2 of sites Which of the following given above is are correct A 1 only B 1 and 3 only C 1 2 and 3 D 2 and 3 only Answer is D It is a species found in the southern tropical dry deciduous forest of Andhra Pradesh AP Sites shorter name for the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora also known as the Washington Convention In India it has been enlisted under Schedule 4 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 The heartwood of red sanders is in demand in the domestic and international markets for making furniture, handicrafts, and musical instruments in China and Japan. The red dye obtained from wood is used as a coloring agent in the textiles, medicine, and food industries. Question 7 consider the following statements about compressed biogas (CBG) and compressed natural gas (CNG). One chemically CBG is the same as CNG both are compressed methane and have the same calorific value. To CNG is a byproduct of petroleum. CBG can be produced from any biomass, be it crop residue, cattle dung, sugarcane press mud, municipal wet waste or effluents from a sewage treatment plant. 3 CBG cannot be transported through cylinders or pipelines to retail outlets. Which of the following given above is are correct? A 1 and 2 only. B 3 only. C 1 2 and 3. D 2 and 3 only. Answer is A. Just like CNG, CBG2 can be transported through cylinders or pipelines to retail outlets. Question 8 Finance Minister announced 500 new waste to wealth plants under Galvanizing Organic Bio Agro Resources Dhan scheme GOB Erdhan in the Union Budget 2023 Consider the following statements about this One the new GOB Erdhan scheme is an upgrade and an expansion of the old one of the same name launched in 2018 by the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation To this scheme limited itself to cluster or community level biogas plants for instance for anganwadis or farms three compressed biogas cbg 
was never a part of the initial scheme launched in 2018 because it is very different from biogas in terms of utilization and constituents. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is C. Methane makes up less than 50% of biogas, whereas it constitutes nearly 95% of CBG. The former is scrubbed, purified, and pressurized further to form CBG, which can be used as a renewable fuel in the vehicle sector. In contrast, biogas is utilized to power sugar mills and as a plant fertilizer. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.